Hello beautiful people this is me Anmul and today we're going to see the fifth video of the tree series which is the diameter of an array tree and now this is a uh, part of a continuation series this is not a separate video as such a previous video i made on a problem called diameter of a binary tree so if you have not seen that video so this video might not be that clear to you so my humble request would be to see or to all of you watching this video to see the previous video first then come to this video okay so about this problem uh this problem is similar to that problem the difference the only difference is that that you know uh instead of two nodes a particular node a two children a particular a particular node that can have any children let's suppose it can has n children so what we have to do we have to find a diameter of that tree which is not a binary tree which is an n array tree Well, basically, a particular node can contain n number of children. That's the only difference. But the problem is pretty similar. Okay, so I'll just sum up this video pretty quick. So what we have to do? When we had a binary tree, so we basically calculated two things. If we are on a particular node, let's suppose n. So what I was calculating that in my previous video was that what's the maximum depth? Like you know, what's the maximum path from that root to its left side? and what's the maximum path from that root to its right side and i was basically uh storing the maximum value of that uh, left plus right in the answer variable and the function was basically returning the length the function basically was returning the maximum height from that particular node but i was storing the answer in a separate global variable that was the logic of the previous problem okay So now what we will do? So what we will do in this problem now? Will basically since a path can go with only two, मतलब let's suppose if I have a root, and I have if I have to like you know if I have if I have to choose a path, so the path will only have two directions, मतलब two routes. You know it cannot go from uh it can it it cannot go like this. it has to go either like this or either like this or either like this matlab it can only take two options right it cannot take more than two options so since in the previous video i was basically checking left and right in this video in this particular video i'll basically check maximum uh height from that particular root from that that particular node and maximum second maximum height from that particular node and basically i'll sum up i'll basically take the sum of both the nodes maximum uh, height and second maximum height that's you know what i'll do in this particular problem now let's just see the code it's pretty similar to the previous video so again i'm requesting you if you have not seen the video well, you might not be able to understand what i'm saying right now So please watch the previous video first, then come back to this video. I have attached a link to the previous video in the description itself, so you can check that. Okay, so if we are seeing the code, uh, the code is again similar. For basically, I am checking for every children here, for every uh, for every node. Basically, you know, I am for every particular let for every node. Let's say I am basically. uh yeah for basically let's i am basically treating every node as root and i'm going uh to its children one by one and like you know from for uh from every uh for every path i'm checking if it's a maximum if it's a maximum then i'm storing as the maximum if and i'm storing the second maximum this is the logic of storing the maximum path and second maximum path and similarly to the previous problem i'm storing the maximum answer like this right so this is pretty similar to the previous video i don't know what i'm i don't know what i'm saying okay let me just let, let me just explain it clearly okay so what i'm saying is ki i'm traversing every children of that particular route and for every children i am basically calculating 
that diameter one. The diameter one is basically returning me the maximum depth of that children. Maximum depth means maximum height from that node to the leaves, basically. Uh, for this, the maximum height is one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So basically, that function basically returns me the maximum, uh, the maximum height. I'm checking if that height is greater than max, current max. If that's greater than max, I'm, I'm updating the max, and I'm also updating the second max, right? After this iteration, basically, I have the values max and second max. Now, my answer would be simply mx, the path with the maximum nodes, plus the path with the second maximum nodes, plus one. That would be my answer, right? So I'm updating. So I'm updating the answer here, and I'm returning mx plus one. mx, the function is basically maximum depth. It should be mx uh, depth instead of maximum diameter. It should be mx depth, and similarly, this should also be mx depth. Yeah. Mx depth. Yes. So that is the whole logic of this particular problem. Sorry about that. Uh, this should be Mx depth. The logic is similar to the previous video. So please check the previous video. Yeah. Okay. So I think the problem is not very tough, difficult. If you know how to calculate this, how to solve this problem, you obviously know how to solve. Uh, this particular problem, yeah. So the logic again is key second max, then max, then basically instead of left plus right, I'm doing maximum plus second maximum. In this case, that's the difference. That's the only difference between the codes. I'm storing the this in basically, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, you can just post your doubts in the comment section, and I'll basically reach out to you. Yeah. And bye, everyone. Bye.